Kia ora, this is Arun Jacob, your friendly and frank licensed New Zealand immigration advisor as well as education advisor. We have today with us uh, in the AJV studio, Joseph from Boy Ohomoy, who has traveled from Rotorua to come and spend some time with us here today in our office. And we will get started now. Kia ora, Joseph. Kia, uh, Kia ora, Arun. And uh, hi, Remai. Welcome to the AJV studio and to the office. And it's a pleasure to have you here. It's actually an honor in my part. Hello, everyone there watching. I'm Joseph. You can call me Joe or you can call me Joseph. I'm actually the new marketing coordinator for the international team okay. in Toy Homai. Okay. So basically what I do is really focus on onshore agents, okay. handling Oakland, yeah. Bay of Plenty, and the rest of the agents here in onshore. So yeah. tell us a little bit about your own story. What has your journey been in New Zealand? So obviously you are also somebody who moved to New Zealand. Yeah. So tell us. Just a little bit about your story. Yeah, just, just a quick recap, because yeah. I myself am also a student from the Philippines. So oh, okay. Which part of the Philippines Manila. Were you from? Manila. Oh, you're a Manila, Manila. boy. Okay. Although I came from the northern part, but yeah. I was raised in Manila. Yeah. So I came here last June okay. 2018. Okay. And I actually graduated from Massey University. Okay. I studied there for one year. Okay. And I'm very fortunate to be hired by Toy Homai this last August 2019. Okay. Yeah. So I'm very fresh. Oh, so nice. like some of your staff here. Yeah. And then what's good about my role is I get to meet a lot of people like Arun. Okay. Arun is a very nice person. Oh, I okay. believe uh, there is like an <laughs> atmosphere of positivity here in his office. Oh, thanks and so I much. And I love being that. positive. I'm a positive person. Oh, love And it. I just look at the brighter side of things. Oh, brilliant. And then after finishing my course in Massey University, yeah. I got hired by Tony Mai as the marketing coordinator. And okay. here I am right now talking to you guys. Oh, lovely. That's wonderful, uh, Joseph. And... So tell us a little bit about Toy Ohomoi as an institute because there are a lot of polytechnics or institutes of technology in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Of course, there is a talk that they're going to merge and make it into one big entity. Mm -hmm. But right now, as we talk, there are still plenty of polytechnics all across New Zealand. Mm -hmm. So why should a student choose Toy Ohomoi over any other polytechnic in New Zealand? Okay, first of all, <laughs> Toy Ohomoi stands for Pursuing excellence. Okay. To be it, is that the meaning of the word toy yes, homo? Toy homo. Okay. We pursue excellence. Okay. To be awakened by learning. Okay. And basically what that what we do is like we actually learn by doing. Okay. We actually apply what we're doing and it's an hands-on experience. Okay. So the students get to partner with industry experts. Okay. Because most of the time if you actually get to enroll with such famous universities, of course you get to learn the theories. Yeah. But with Toy Mai, what we do is after the theory, you actually apply the theory. Okay. That's what we call learn by doing. Right. And at the same time, Toy Mai has five campuses. We okay. got Rotorua, mm -hmm. we got Tauranga, mm -hmm. we got Pakatane, mm -hmm. we got Tokoroa, mm -hmm. and Taupo. All right. So you got places for, you like to visit, like Tauranga is like a, also a city. Yes. If you want to go to Rotorua, yes. it's a famous for tour, a tourist destination. Yes. So you got around 3 million per year visitors coming wow, from that's different a lot of countries. People. Mm. And in Tauranga as well. But mm. the population population is just around 75,000 for Rotorua. Okay. And you got like more um, industry expert for the tourism and hospitality. Okay. Let me just highlight first because on 2021, yeah. the industry will be coming around 40 billion. Okay. Because we're actually expecting a lot of tourists coming in New Zealand. Right. That's why we need tourism students, hospitality okay. students right. doing this kind of um, jobs in, All right. in the Bay okay. of Plenty. All right. And what are the most popular courses that international students choose at Toy Ohomoi as of today? Currently, right now, most students choose the postgraduate courses. Okay. Meaning to say they're actually choosing um, master's degree. Okay. Let's take, for example, our Master of Management okay. by coursework, okay. by thesis. Yeah. And you can do coursework and thesis as well. Yeah. So these co programs are actually designed for students who have already have a bachelor's degree or somehow you got an undergraduate degree yeah. or you got a postgraduate diploma in yeah. business yeah so you can actually study more about business okay and what's good about to, um our uh, toyo mai programs is really again learn by doing all right so there are like tutors that are really actually ex expert in doing this um kind of activities uh, okay what's the kind of support that the institution provides to international students once they arrive uh, that's a good question Aaron. yeah uh, basically what's good about toyo mai is really uh, take care of the uh, 
from the very start of the student's journey. Okay. For example, by the time they actually touch down in the airport, yeah. there will be a staff from Tony Mai waiting for them, okay. and we will be having a shuttle for them okay. going to the Bay of Plenty region. All right. And before they arrive, we make sure that they already have a place to stay. Oh, lovely. It might be a homestay, it yeah. might be a platting from a friend or from a relative, okay. but we make sure that everyone's actually safe. Oh, okay. That's the first and foremost uh, priority for us because students are actually... Um, they are our priorities. Yes. They're the lifeblood of our institution. Absolutely. We have to take yeah. care of them. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, once they start the course, and if there are any sort of emergencies or so on mm -hmm. and so forth, what is the kind of support system okay. that the institution has? Basically, we have this hotline. Mm. So we can actually provide that to all the students during orientation. Okay. In fact, this week, we had just had our orientation for this new students for the October intake. Okay. We got around 300 students who just came, coming from different countries. Yeah. Most coming from India. Yeah. And then we actually highlighted some of these numbers to yeah. dial. Yeah. For example, we got the hotline going directly to our well-being team manager. Yeah. But in case of emergency, yeah. of course, we highlight the number 111. Yeah. But of course, if you have like concerns about, of course, your well-being. Yeah. You want to talk to someone there's yeah. a hotline for that all right and a, and a faculty manager or a faculty from our learning as international center will be the one talking to those students yeah so international students are a relatively new phenomenon in new zealand uh you know i have been in new zealand since 2001 yeah. uh, we never had so many international students as we see today yeah. which is almost 20 years later yeah. how is the local population and all these five different centers accepting international students uh, is there good cohesion or have there been any incidents of any uh, issues between international students and the local populations? I think there have been issues because um, currently what what's happening in the Bay of Plenty region, there are like um, industry tie-ups with these kind of um, um, companies. So what happens is like if there are students coming in for the, for the October intake, the council or the government is really happy because it's additional income for us. Yes. And the, in fact, New Zealand has like around a five billion industry for the education sector. Yes. That's why if there are students coming in our in our shore, yeah, we would love, love to cater that. Okay, that's an excellent. Yeah, yeah, it will benefit us. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, excellent response. And you know, by and large, we've noticed that exactly there haven't been too many issues, but we wanted to know how yeah. it is in the. Uh, the cities where your campuses are located, yeah. Because in uh, Rotorua or in Tauranga, there is around uh, roughly 75,000 to 150,000 local, local citizens living in the cities. Correct. And um, during summer, uh, students, uh, students is just like, um, they need students to work on part-times. Yeah. So they really need this kind of students. Yeah. Because they are the one who can actually be, um, work on those positions. Yeah, excellent. Which brings up a good question. So what kind of part-time jobs are available while students are studying and at all those different centers? All right. Just to, me, just to uh, set expectations, I'm not saying that it's easy to find a part-time yeah. job. But uh, there, are, there are actually part-time jobs that are available for students. For example, you can be, uh, you see as one is pick, pick fruiter. Yeah. You can actually uh, fruit pick, uh, pick fruits yeah. or you can be a part-time in a hotel or yeah. a motel. Yeah. You can be a cleaner. Yeah. And my piece of advice is really you, just, you, do, you don't have to be a choosy yeah. in terms of choosing your uh, part-time job because it's important that you have a New Zealand experience at first yeah. and then after that you can climb yourself up. Oh, okay, that's wonderful coming from an ex-international student yeah, yourself. Yeah, because I myself I started as a buzzer in Sky City Yeah. and then after that I actually worked in a retail shop okay. as a retail uh, clerk specialist yeah. Yeah. and then I became an assistant manager. Yeah. And then here I am right now as a marketing, doing marketing role in Toy Home Oh, so fantastic. So you just climb yourself up and you'll, be, you'll yeah. be going there. Oh, lovely. That's such a beautiful progression and such a good inspiration to many yeah. other students who are going to come in. Yeah. And once the student completes the, uh, the courses from Toy Home what has been the kind of uh, outcomes for them in terms of careers? And, uh, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, most international students come here with the aspiration of residency. Yep. So what's been the kind of outcomes for students out of Toyo? Okay, that's a good question, Aaron. Uh -huh. Let me just highlight you a few data from okay. our um, institution. Yeah. For example, this one. Yeah. 87% of our students are yeah. actually employed mm -hmm. after studying in Toyomai. 87%? Me, yeah, let me repeat that, 87%. Wow. So meaning after studying in Toyomai, yeah. they get hired by some of them. Yeah. Some of the companies here in here in Bay of Plenty or yeah. even outside Bay of Plenty. Yeah. And of course, 97% actually 
did complete the program. Okay. So it's a high rate. That is a high, high rate. percentage. Yes. And then on this figure over here, ninety-one percent of employers say yeah. that they meet the qualification they need yeah. for that particular position. Yeah. So we really actually after for that kind of student that if you really fit that industry, yeah, come with us. Okay, fantastic. Well, uh, anything else you wanted to add about Toyohomai or any of these other campuses and the cities? Yep. Or what kind of experiences a student can have, uh, especially as an international student? Yep. So basically, my piece of advice is really, if you really want to learn things that you really want to apply those theories, you come to Toyohomai. Because what we do in Toyohomai, we apply the learn by doing. Yeah. And by saying that, we really pursue excellence by really doing what we have learned from the past, from the from your um, the time that you sit down in your in your classroom, and then you will be get to be immersed by the industry experts. Yeah, and that's what our expert is really to apply what you have learned. Oh well, uh, we are all my wonderful viewers. You have heard Joseph from Toy Ohomai speak from the heart. So yeah, it was wonderful to meet you, Joseph. Thank you so Thank much you for, for your time. taking the time to come and spend some time here today with us. Yep. and we look forward to working closely with the institution and uh, creating successful and happy students. Thank you so much. All right.